Hey, welcome to Mace RC. I've got Tyler and Cody here. Um, and that wasn't all that was involved, right? Who's? Trenton. Um, Trenton. Trenton and, no, that's just Trenton for you. Trent. Okay, sweet. This is really cool, Thank you. by the way. This is a, a, a big, um, big day for us and for Mesa because we have um, our first product, multi-rotor product that's coming out this year. And that is your MF Slim. So we did a kind of a, a team build here. You were uh, the engineering design yep. of the quadcopter, and you are the build to fly. So he yeah. is piggying back on um, kind of like your, your test bed, really. Mm -hmm. um, he's able to tell you what's working, what's not working, um, and get a different perspective because sometimes you already know what's working. Yep. But for him, he's a newbie. And have you ever flown a quad before? No. Right. So it was perfect for uh, Tyler to get that instant feedback when he was uh, doing his creation. And um, the creation was, was pretty simple. Yeah, it was very fast. Well, talk about what your problem was that you had to solve and what you kind of came up with at the very beginning of the year, day one of Mesa, when we started. Um, well, so we had the idea to make a very cheap mini racing quad. Now, we wanted to do this under about $10, $15. So there's about $5 in material in this quad. Um, and it is two pieces of ga gator board and um, one inch or one eighth inch pieces of um, a wood that we just laser cut out, and then you glue everything together, and then you've got your um, a frame for your quad. The other thing too is is we wanted something that was easy, right? Because Cody wanted to build a quadcopter. We have quad lugs, and we have some flight test stuff. Right. Um, but I wasn't quite ready for it with that with all the screws and nuts and bolts and all that kind of stuff. We just need something to where these guys can just get gluing, get the stuff on, and go out and test and actually fly it. And not have to be so hurt when they actually crash it. Because let's be honest here, multi are hard to fly. They are. Right? Yeah. <laughs> They're very hard to fly. Um, and you guys have already flown these a couple of times and they've held up to the beating really, you know, really well. Um, but we wanted something that was quick. And, and honestly, how long is the build for these? Uh, you can put them together in 10, 15 minutes if you're 15, if you're not experienced, and if you've got any idea what you're doing, you know, five, 10 minutes, and you've got your frame for your quad to That's right. To go. So it's just one layer you glue down. Next layer, I mean, we're going to do a build video for this, but I think the build video is only going to be like five minutes long. Yeah, it shouldn't be <laughs> very long at all. So it'll be really, really cool uh, uh, when you guys do the build video to show the, the, the viewers how quick it actually is. Um, so the goal was that you wanted to create a quad that was um, a one print, um, under 10 minutes to make, under five minutes for us to make, and... Under five, ten dollars. Yes, under ten, yeah, under five, ten dollars to make, and I think you did it, dude. Yeah. This is really, really cool. In fact, uh, we were at the Maker Fair this past week, and there was a lot of interest. Yeah, there were a lot of people asking when this would be out, or if they could get it at the Maker Fair, so... Yeah, and so we're, we're so close to getting it released. Um, and uh, the Loveland Creator Space in town is also going to utilize these um, for beginner quads that they come on those nights where they do the DIY uh, do-it-yourself projects. They want to print a bunch of these out so that they can get the kids to make them. And, and you know, because you can do it in 45 minutes, you know, with teach them how to meld it, to put the gear on there, and then the next day it could be fine. So they, they really like this application. So no, you did a, a fantastic job. And Cody, you were the um, the builder, and you built this. Yeah. Um, and yours came out great too. Talk about how your build process went, and as a beginner, um, just how to go. It it was easy. I just had to get the instructions to do it. So I just glued everything together real quick, then just added all the motoring in. So and the motoring was probably the, the most difficult. Yeah, it took it, it was time consuming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, time consuming when I had to solder and stuff. Well, you had a good teacher that that uh, helped you get it all together, and they've got these both set up for um, FPV racing um, to show you that they can that they can actually do this. And this canopy is foam board. Um, uh, yeah, it's just our normal Dollar Tree foam board. And just to kind of go over the design process, how many quad designs did you create before you eventually, eventually said this is the one? Oh man, well we started out with this huge lengthy quad and it was just <laughs> hideous. And then finally we went through and shortened it up, we printed that one out. We didn't put any electronics on until finally we cut it out of this foam board, gator board, and it took us probably 
10 or 15 printouts of this before our laser cutter actually started helping us and yeah. working right and that we got the design that we wanted there were so many revisions i can't even count good so i mean you went through that process constant evaluation of your product and reflection on what you were doing eventually you came out with a you know a pretty awesome product um, that really looks cool and that people like and hopefully um you know you'll be able to take to the skies with uh yeah i mean you can make you know t two or three of these before you go out to the racing field in a matter of seconds and then as soon as one goes down you just you just put on your electronics and you're gonna fly again right and you switched from one of our old quads so that was easy so you just took it all yeah, off and fluffed it on threw everything onto this quad and it didn't take too long it's just um, I had to make sure that I had all my wiring right so that we could actually fly it instead of just sitting there with our props facing down. So. Cool. And you're going to release the plans for free to the public yep. so they can download this thing too? Cool. Um, so I'll have to get those from you because you got the final ones. Yep. Um, yeah, this is Gatorboard. We are all about recycling materials. And um, once again, uh, Peter from Visibility Signage had a bunch of this Gatorboard that um, dimension wise doesn't need anymore, but for us, it's gold. Yep. And so he was able to turn that Gator board into a product, and the product is that fast build, cheap quad um, that's perfect for students to learn on and to fly with. So, Tyler, you did a good job. Cody did a good job building yours. Yours looks beautiful. Um, but now it's time to hand this off to Elite. These guys are flying these around, and, and they're you know they're hovering. But you guys don't want to see them just hovering, and they're still learning how to fly. But our Elite guys. They know how to race a little bit, and so what we want to do now is take it over to them so that they can race these bad boys and uh, see how they held up and how they test out. <laughs> 